And now we're going to take a look and see what it's like inside the crown bar. So you walk in, here's where you get this place, and then there's the crown bar, but there's also an entrance here. Here's the decorations. What's it look like? Here, take a look and see what it's like. Okay, so we just in the door. So here's the front bar that you see as soon as you walk in, and then we have the outdoors here. We'll walk inside first and then we'll go see what it looks like inside. So they have food here as well. And uh, there's a, another restaurant, Jasper, connected to it. And here's where they have the cocktails. And there's some pictures up there. And you can see it's very popular horse racing in Ireland. Every pub you go into seems to be. These are nice little seating arrangements that they have. You have your TV there, you have another bar. And this is where we came in. If you, so when you walk in the front door, you can cut in right here, right away. And then you're right in the front bar. And then we'll go outside. They have a huge outside smoking area and just public area anyways in general. So we'll take a look what it's outside. So there's doors there. There's, we'll go out this one that's open. So here's the outdoor area. There's a lot of seating. And I think they have music up here. I've been here a few times where they'd have a band playing up here. And then there's another fully stocked bar right on the outside. There's quite a lot of bar areas for you. You have a, another couple of TVs, fireplace. And uh, from what I remember, the jacks are very, very clean. And I'll show you what they look like because it's usually really neat. So then they have the attendants there and then the cakes. So that's a popular thing that uh, they're getting away from the trough styles. Um, they're going into the more of the cake style. So then you have this hole over an area. It's all covered in. So this area itself is not a smoking area. To smoke, you have to go a little bit further outside, and it's a whole open beer garden as well. So there, it holds a large capacity. And then they also have, in connection with this, is the Crown Live. So it's another, it's another bar that used to have live gigs in that that was taken over by the Crown. So they're reinvesting really the whole area. And then here's some outdoor seating, some decorations, some murals, and then this is the Crown um, Bar Live. So this is where they have the gigs inside there. So they have indoor gigs, and there's a pub at the back of town, and then you have live music there. So this is more for a functions event, so you have live music and events and comedians and stuff. And these have flames going up at night time and then decorations and you get your selfies taken with the uh, gorilla 
and the Crown Bar logo. And then you're on the main key front where we walked before and there's Wexford Bridge. And there you have it. So this is Monk Street there where we came in on. So you can see it holds quite a huge area. It's encompassing the whole, you know, block almost. So it's a large event and it's a late bar too. So it's sort of competing on with the stores. The stores is the disco or the that they have at night for the late bar. But this one else as well. Um, so it's more, you can see the amount of people it can hold. You know, the outdoors can hold quite a bit. There's a lot of bars area to serve the people. And then here we are working our way out. And, and then here's the restaurant they said it's connecting to at Jasper's. So it has a bit of everything for everyone. It's located right on Monk Street. So there's the restaurant there. And we're outside. And you can see right across from Maggie Mays. Let's we'll see if we can get in there. I tried the other day, but the manager wasn't there. So we have the outside of Maggie Mays just in case we don't get into it with the Welsh flag and the tricolor. Okay, so I'm just walking into Maggie Mays now. I spoke to the owner and everything was good. I'm just going to show you what I like. Like I said, common theme. The uh, horses are on there. You got some old paintings and pictures. There's Mickey Rackard. Mickey Rackard again. That's Wexford Key. And then, of course, you have the bar. Well stocked. And then... How's it going? Hey, how's it going? And then... Uh, all the pubs have usually little knickknacks all over the place. If you remember seeing Trevor's uh, spotless there. So here's you have all the picture of hurlers from areas gone past. You've got TVs. And then we'll go outside to the beer area. There's a little toilet here. And hello lady. And then you have the beer garden here, which is where they have the live events. Um, you know. This will be all lit up, sparkling, the fireplace there. You have outdoor ba bathrooms for the outside. And here they have another cocktail bar. It's not open now because obviously it's, it's late, but it's basically, I'll see if you can see inside. It just helps for the cocktails and stuff. And this place is strong on a weekend night and the bank holiday, especially with the, uh, the May bank holiday weekend. It's one of the bigger ones of the year. So it will be really busy on tonight and tomorrow night. Sunday nights usually are the biggest night. So that's basically what Maggie Mace looks like from the inside. So it's just on Monk Street, which is one I showed you. So there, there's a lot of pubs on the Monk Street. So there's the Maggie Mays, you have the um, Crown, you got uh, Mock and Monk, Riley's, T. Morris. And uh, don't forget, that's uh, the little story I told you about. This was my first street that I lived on when I came to Wexford many years ago. Little known fact, when I first came here, my first address because I didn't have a PPSN number and in order to get a PPSN number you needed an address and in order to get an address you need to have a PPSN number so I was caught so the first place the only place I could find you're looking at it right here 15 Monk Street flat one that was my address okay so right here is Kitty's bar it's, I was speaking to some people, it's owned by the same group that owns the Crown Bar and Jasper's and all that. And it's more of a high-end bar. It's only open on, I think, the weekends, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights. And interestingly enough, like I said before, this was my first flat. So when I first came here, this was still being built. So it's like a, it's like a very fancy cocktails and whiskeys and stuff like that see if we go inside but then the next one we're gonna look at is the Monk and Monk. The Monk and Monk used to be Laffin's. Um, it's owned by Sam uh, Laffin now. It used to be his father Jim. Um, so it changed names and that just because when they had to re-register it. So I'm gonna go see if they let me in there and then maybe we'll try to see if we get into Kitty's bar. It doesn't look like it's open yet might be only from the inside but we'll take a look okay so we're gonna go into 
the uh, the back part, the lounge. This is where the lounge is. You see the uh, the money on the wall. People have signed it off with the the spirits. And then everyone's watching the uh, the rugby. And then he has a fireplace right in the back. There's a dirt board. And then here you have the smoking area in the back with the, the washrooms. So here, if you want to have a, a cigarette, you come out here or a fag or. And then they have music here in the evenings. And then the, the bar part has all the old the horsey stuff. Like I said, a lot of the pubs are big on the old. So in here, you have the races. You see what it's okay. And then there's the fighter sound. And that, so that's what the, uh, the Mock and Monk looks like. Okay, I'm in front of. T. Morris, so we're gonna go in there and get myself a pint and show you what it's like inside here. Now, they might have music in that, but I might pick it up. I'll show you in here. So, here's a little snug there. Of course, the TV's on showing football. There's Ken the barman right behind there. I used to work with Ken. I was talking to those three cabs. And there's a little Snug area here. And there's a bar in the back here. Here's another bar. And then we have a smoking area. Here's this smoking area they have here. I don't know, in fact, that's a very, very old tree. I remember they spent thousands when they were getting a place. It's an olive tree. And I think it's a couple of thousand years old. It's one of the nicest features they have. And there's a little bar in the back there as well. So this is a smoking area. TV and that, so you can uh, watch TV when you're outside. And then you walk over here. And there's toilets here. And other areas, so and then the gents who are back there. So I won't show you them. They're just standard like everywhere else. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go over there and order myself a pint. Okay, I stand in front of the uh, centenary stores. You can see the building, and it basically takes the whole building up here. And there's also the uh, the only real nightclub in Wexford town. Um, it's closed now, uh, usually it's open during the day for food and pubs, and then it's big on the weekends. The weekends they'll have, you know, the discos with all the, the kids go there. There's cover charge to get in. Um, not really my scene being in my age. It's more a younger crowd. Um, but little known fact, see this building right in front of me, the DBM Accountants. That was the old Wexford Cabs office. And that was my first job that I got here when I arrived in 2008 during the, uh, the economic crisis that hit. Like when I arrived in February, three weeks later, the banks were all shut. Um, so that was one place that I was able to find a job. And I, I was there for seven years. And now it was a hard job. You were working at nights and dealing with all the, the drunks and the party goers. And here's the outside of the front part of the stores. You can see it up here bar eatery nightclub and then they have it all front decorated with that so you can't really see in anymore used to be able to see right in now so yeah back to the Wexford cab space it was uh I was really lucky to get the job and it was a way that I would able to meet thousands and thousands of people uh, even to the day I still see people and they all recognize me from that time whereas if I would have found a job in a little office somewhere in those seven years I would have known five or six people I literally knew thousands of people and I got to know the area and the town and uh, Wexford so and here's what it looks like on the outside the centenary stores it was uh, the late 
and Michael Tierney used to own it and then now it's run by a different conglomerate uh, they own also the riverbank and stuff like that so but in the daytime it has some food and you can go there for coffees and stuff I know my partner Emily likes it for lunchtime and that she comes down here um, and then it on the weekends on the the Saturday nights and bank holiday Sundays and that it, it's a big disco so that was the centenary stores